Hello, so uh, this is Peter Thomas. So what I'm going to do is run through a very quick demonstration of how the Attend Anywhere video consultation platform works for a clinician who's wanting to run a clinic. Now, if you're running a clinic on Attend Anywhere and seeing patients, you'll have been given a login um, account that enables you to have provider access. Now, once you put it in the first time, it should get remembered by your browser. We can sign into the platform. A few little circles spin round and we get two choices. The meeting rooms are for within Moorfields meetings. That's an IG protected environment. So you can have video calls about patients in there with other colleagues. And the waiting areas are where the patients are waiting to be seen. At the moment, we can see within the waiting areas, we've got two patients waiting. Longest wait is six minutes. That's not bad. And any one of our waiting areas has a caller in it. Now, all of these are sort of dummy waiting areas at the moment. We're not up and running with the platform yet. I'm using Moorfield's test to the waiting, here, waiting area here uh, in order to tr uh, demonstrate the platform today. So we go in and this is the screen we see. Really all of your action is taking place over here in this area of the screen. Down on the right side of the screen, um, there is some useful information. You can test your equipment. That's your webcam and your microphones. This is the URL the patient has to follow. But really all of your action is happening over here. We can see we've got two patients waiting to be seen. So here we have Robert Plant. Um, we can have a look at the call activity. So they've only been on since 1017, but if they've joined calls or be tra been transferred between different clinicians, then you'll see a complete log of what's happened since they joined. We can notify them. So we can tell them running late and a little message will pop up on their screen to say running late. That'll be tremendously reassuring for them. And finally, when we're ready to go, we click on join call. And after a little bit of thinking and connecting up, you see yourself initially. And there we are in the corner and there is Robert Plant. Uh, we can turn on and off the microphone if we want down the bottom here. We can enter a chat. So let's suppose we've said a word and they want to, want to know how it's spelt. You could send blepharitis to them. You can share your screen. Now that could be useful from a trust computer if you want to walk them through an OCT scan, for example, but in general, it's probably best avoided. You can transfer them to another um, to another waiting area. So let's suppose we want to kick them over to the ophthalmology reviews um, clinic. And finally, uh, we could invite another clinic, so, uh, another, another clinician. So let's suppose we want a senior uh, a bit of advice or involvement with this patient. Uh, we can send an email to the boss at NHS net. They'll receive a URL that allows them to join, or we can enter their telephone number. And that person will then receive a text message with a URL they can follow on their phone and via the web browser on their phone, they can join your conversation. That could be useful from time to time. When you're done with the patient, let's suppose you want to go off and check something and return to the call later. You can click end. And if you click leave the call, just me, you will drop out of the video consultation, but the patient doesn't leave the waiting room. They just get described as idle. So they're sitting there and we can have a look at the call activity and we can see what's happened while this patient has been in the waiting room. When we've checked with the boss and we know what we want to say, we can go back, we can rejoin the call. After a second, everything pops up. We can tell the plant what its problem is. And when we're all done, we click on end. End the call for everybody. And you will see that the patient has disappeared from the waiting area. We then work down the list. And after a little bit of thinking, here we are. A plastic toy has joined us to talk about their eye problems. And that's about it, really. When you've worked through your waiting list of patients, you will see that your waiting room, in a moment, is completely empty. You have no calls waiting for you. Now. This system isn't integrated with our PAS system. So the waiting list is simply those patients who followed the URL that we've given them and entered their details. The system doesn't collect a list of patients who've been seen. The only thing the system remembers after a clinic has happened is the number of people who were seen, when they were seen, how long they were seen for, and which clinician was seeing them. It doesn't record the patients that were seen. So this can't be relied on to form a list of work you've done that day. You have to be separately recording, and typically you will have a list, a, a clinic list printed out in the normal fashion from PAS, or access the PAS in some other way, 
and you need to be documenting um, the conversation with the patient. Again, the documentation of this consultation doesn't happen on the Attend Anywhere platform. The Attend Anywhere platform is designed to be very soft touch in terms of uh, in terms of patient data. It doesn't store anything, it doesn't have to. So you need to be documenting the content of your consultation, either written on paper or, or on open eyes or whichever other electronic medical record system you are using at whichever Moorfields location you're at. And that's about it. Once you've seen your patients and you're ready to go home, you simply sign out of the um, platform and you're all done.